Hi, Achim Schiff from English Space Explorers. I was asked recently what my thoughts are about solo diving. Um, and if I could make a video about that. So the answer was no. Here we are. Um, obviously the recommendation is no, don't do it. Uh, the problem is that this is pretty far away from reality. Every instructor going in the water with new divers is basically solo diving plus on top, on top responsible for other people's lives. If you ever had the chance to um, check out the recreational diver, the, the recreational book from Inner Space Explorers, there is a, a chapter um, dive partner. And um, in this chapter we discuss how the ideal dive partner should be. So somebody you know very well, somebody that you can trust underwater and above water, somebody that has the same skills than you, um, that dives the same equipment than you, that is familiar with your equipment, that shares the same um, goal for the dive. It, it's a pretty long list and if you look at the list you will realize that mm, very very unlikely. And um, so that brings up the question is a di dive partner a dive partner if it's just a person with a tank full of gas swimming next to you? Is this person able and willing to help you in case of an emergency? Is this person capable of helping you on a physical base, on a psychological base? Does the person have the knowledge, the capabilities, the gear? Again, a pretty long list. And if, if you look at it and you're honest, you're very, very lucky if you find this person. And um, so what, what, what do you do if you don't dive? So honestly, if I go, let's say somewhere, and uh, I have the, the, the option of getting a stranger, like this is your life partner, or to dive alone, a lot of people will not like to hear that, but then I prefer to dive alone because it's it's the problem. The problem is from both sides. I mean, I don't know the person. I mean, how much of my attention does this person need underwater? Do I want to be the babysitter? And is this person the kind of partner I want for my dive? And um, if I'm diving alone. I'm responsible for myself. I have to set my own limits based on my skills, on my comfort level and so on. And I have to make a decision based on my knowledge and my skills on where I put the line for this dive. So I would prefer that. And then on the other hand, you have um, obviously the, the interest in the dive. If, if uh, you want to see the reef, and you're diving with somebody who's into close-up photography, good luck. Because this person is probably in front of this piece of coral waiting for this tiny seahorse or whatever to move or show up or whatever and it's not swimming further than two meters while you want to see the reef. So you will not be a great buddy team and obviously the, the idea of a buddy team will, will suffer big time from, from this combination. And um, there's probably a ton of, of uh, other examples that um, inherit the same problem. So I know this is a very, very controversial discussion. And um, I'm also aware that there's not the answer. But I think it is interesting to bring the topic up and discuss it in an honest way. So if you're interested in that, check out our Patreon page because uh, this is where we discuss all these things and uh, where we exchange all these thoughts in, in depth and detail. And uh, if you have comments on it, please uh, feel free to comment in the comment section of uh, this YouTube video. Uh, I know this is a great one for all the haters, so please feel free to unlike it. If you like it, give us thumbs up, appreciate this, uh, subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think and I'll see you next Friday. Thanks.